The data model is fascinating. It really is. I mean, you know, you've probably heard all the things about how Dynamics started out as this little bitty data model of a couple of hundred tables. And now all of a sudden you look in and it's like, hey, wait, there's over 11,000 tables in this thing. Now, this is very interesting because in order to start as a developer, in order to start in almost, you know, not just as a developer, but maybe BI, maybe integrations, maybe anything else, nothing can help as much as the data model. But we're also kind of getting away from that, you know? You know, you look at it 10 years ago, you walked into Dynamics, you had to know the data model to really be a great developer. Today, we're moving towards entities, right? What are, what are entities? Well, entities are basically saying that because the data model's gotten so complicated, because now you've got these 11,000, 12,000 tables, it's much easier to know something like a customer's entity, which might have 40 tables inside of it, but you don't have to know the 40 tables. You only have to know the customer's entity than it is to go memorize the 40 tables. Okay, that's been the predominant theory that Microsoft's been proceeding on and there's some definite benefits to that. But there's still a very powerful interest in the data model. Like for example, what if you bring your own database into another system? What if you need to do performance optimization on an existing entity, which usually is just the equivalent of a SQL view. All that sorts of stuff has basically led to a demand for knowing the data model, except that what we really need to learn is we need to learn the most important parts of the data model. Well, I'm here to tell you that we got some good stuff for you. So after blogging for the last, you know, decade, I've seen a lot of good posts. And you know, the older guys and older ladies are still making great posts, I hope, including this one, I hope. But we're also seeing a new generation of bloggers that are really starting to light it up. And I'm pretty excited about showing you all that. So what's gonna happen is, you guys are gonna see a post from a member of my team, one of the young up and coming developers of the new generation. And we're gonna break down the data model step by step for 25 posts so that you get an understanding of what to do. But here's the trick, here's the key. It's gonna be from a techno-functional perspective. So we always cover a brief functional process and then a technical. This first post is awesome. It starts with the purchase process. And we sort of start with how you create a purchase order and we explore some of those tables, those relationships, talk about it and keep on watching the post because you're gonna see 25 targeted posts covering some of the best information that you won't wanna miss. You wanna become a reporting expert, a forms expert, a debugging expert. This is still the most important part, except for that today, it's not about knowing all 11 or 12,000 tables, no. It's about knowing the most important tables. And that's what we aim to do in these 25 posts. So get ready, enjoy it, hope you really do like it. The, the team at Instructor Brandon is definitely bringing it along with Dynatuners. And we hope that you really do enjoy this. Goodbye everyone and just keep on learning.